Welcome to Security Question Examples based on AWS Data Engineer Topics by Abilead. We offer cloud service introductions exam question explanations and practicing of real exams. Question 1. How do you set up least privilege access with IAM roles for a data processing app? Wrong is to apply IAM Visual Editor to generated policies with broad permissions and full access policies exposes app to highest security risks. Besides IAM Access Advisor Insights doesn't provide least privileges. Better is to engage a custom IAM policy with app access permissions for specific actions and resources. Question 2. How do you most efficient separate IAM user permission granting from its S3 access permission? To use new IAM user is inefficient with potential disruptions and auto-adjusted permission leads to unintended access issues. Moreover, switching to IAM role in environments with roles for service access is inefficient. In contrast, updated IAM user policy to limit S3 bucket access adheres to principle of least privileges. Question 3. How do you control audit members' access with central security and other accounts? With service control policies you can't provide individual user access and an EC2 instance savings plan isn't required. Also RAM isn't designed to manage user access. Most advisable is to set up an IAM role in the security account with cross-account IAM roles in each other account. Question 4. How do you encrypt at rest and in transit with service for data processing in multi-accounts? False is to engage ACM for in-transit encryption and S3 default encryption doesn't permit cross-account access. Not better is to misuse VPC peering or AWS shield for cross-account encryption. The solution is to use KMS for central CMKs for in-transit cross-account encryption and IAM roles to other accounts. Question 5. How do you grant IAM policy permissions in same account for glue jobs to S3 buckets? Don't configure IAM user permissions within glue jobs and IAM policies for glue jobs are infeasible. Also infeasible is attaching resource policies to S3. You better use granted glue permission for S3 with accounts default IAM service role attached to glue. Question 6. How do you set up IAM multiple user team permissions for multiple analytics services? You shouldn't apply cross-account setup for different teams in same account and sharing credentials with team members is a severe security risk. Moreover, permissions assigned for each user isn't scalable. Instead, set up scalable IAM groups for different team functions with policies to these groups. Question 7. How do you set up an effective access management for different and changing user role permission to analytics? Don't disregard least privileges by combining an IAM role with administrative permissions and service control policies are two broad permissions. And attaching a policy to individual IAM users limits scaling. Most advisable is to apply scalable IAM groups permissions to handle access across different services. Question 8. How do you encrypt sensitive S3 data at rest with customer managed and audited keys? Client-side encryption requires too much overhead and AWS managed keys or S3 managed keys disrespect customer requirements. You best apply customer managed SSEKMS for at rest encryption and CloudTrail to track key usage. Question 9. How do you secure access to sensitive data in various storages? Wrong is to use network ACLs, VPCs or its security groups for content safeguarding. Besides standalone IAM policies don't protect data access. In contrast, you most effective apply KMS encryption at rest and in transit. Hold on a minute. If you like this channel and its free content to continue, please subscribe it on the right bottom button. Question 10. How do you efficiently manage audit and rotate in transit and at rest encryption keys for analytic services? With Macy or ACM you can't manage encryption keys and Cloud HSM encryption key creation is far-fetched and too costly. Better is to engage the often integrated KMS service to create, control, audit and rotate encryption keys. Question 11. How do you centrally secure with yearly rotated encryption keys the multi-layer analytic services? Don't use the KMS master key to expose all data and manual Cloud HSM rotation is as error-prone. Also, applying one key encryption is insecure. In contrast, separate master keys for different services is best practice and KMS key autorotation is simple and secure. Question 12. 
How do you set up non-shared in transit and at rest encryption keys for Data Lake with a security and partner account? To store customer keys in Secrets Manager is impractical and moving the KMS key between accounts disrespects requirements. Moreover, AWS managed key and resource-based policy are inflexible. Most advisable is to apply KMS which keeps encryption keys in original account to control key sharing for other accounts. Question 13. How do you set up cross-account in transit and at rest encryption for storage and processing accounts? It's inefficient to work with separate KMS managed keys in each account and IAM roles don't provide cross-account key management. Not better are complicated customer-provided keys with its security risks. The solution is to share central CMK with assured encryption to other accounts. Question 14. How do you use Macy to ensure S3 private data security with continuous monitoring with alerts? You can't continuously monitor with Macy's point-in-time snapshot or with Macy managed identifiers or with Macy's security hub integrations. You better work with continued Macy auto-evaluation of S3 buckets for ongoing monitoring of private data. Question 15. How do you manage access to PI data in Data Lake integrated with Lake Formation? False is to identify private data with guard duty threat detection or glue data bruise data normalization. The same is true for WF's web exploit protection. Instead, you identify private data with Macy and integrated Lake Formation to control private data access. Question 16. How do you least overhead identify private data in Data Lake and invoke real-time masking app with overview? A custom Lambda function requires overhead and without masking app it's inappropriate. Besides, the event bridge solution leaves out most requirements. Most advisable is to apply serverless Macy to detect private data in S3 with filtering in event bridge and invoked masking app. Question 17. How do you scalable handle and periodically rotate secrets for data processing app with databases and APIs? SSM can't auto-rotate and a manual processes are error-prone. Also, S3 buckets isn't intended to manage or store secrets. You best employ Secrets Manager without hard-coded credentials and to store auto-rotate secrets. Question 18. How do you eliminate credential exposure risk of EC2 instance app with data processing to RDS for Microsoft SQL? Microsoft SQL doesn't support IAM authentication and Parameter Store doesn't support auto-rotation. Moreover, STS temporary credentials don't eliminate exposure risk. In contrast, you use Secrets Manager to store credentials and to configure automatic rotation. With the understanding of security for data engineers, you are ready now for more details. We wish you further insights with Abilene videos.